Are your Excel date calculations not adding up correctly? Despite having the right formula and visually the dates looking correct on the screen? The culprit might be dates stored as text instead of date values. In this video, I'll show how to identify the rogue text dates. Hi, I'm Pauline and I provide practical data skills for real-world analysis. Here's the scenario. A spreadsheet tracks task completion dates. In this example, the post to website column total is incorrect. I have five cells with an entry, but the total is only three. Before fixing the problem, I will check that my column is formatted as date rather than general to prevent future problems. And before we go any further, a key point to note is that Excel stores dates as serial numbers to allow them to work with formulas. However, sometimes the contents of cells look like dates, but in the background are being stored as text, resulting in incorrect calculations. Two effective ways to identify text dates are well, first, Excel itself may be helpful and add a green triangle to the corner of a cell. If you click on the cell, a warning appears and if you click on the warning, it indicates that it's a number stored as text. Therefore, we know that this is a text value and we need to change it to a date. Another option is to make use of the is functions. And here we have two options. We can use is number or is text. For this example, I set up a temporary column. And to demonstrate is number first, all we need to do is say is cell e2 a number and if we get true that means that e2 is being recognized as a date so if i copy this formula down the column i'm looking for entries whereby i have a date in column e but false in column g and in this case we can see that the false lies at cell e three and E5. So if I click into these cells, I can then fix these dates. In this case, remove the apostrophe. And in E5, it may not be quite so obvious what the issue is, but there's actually an extra space here. So if I just delete the space in front of the two, is number turns to true and our total is now five. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll show is text as well. But again, you don't need to do this if you've done is number. For the demonstration, if I just put my space back here, then in is text, all I say is, is cell E2 text, and we get false, and that's what we're expecting because we do not want it to be text, we want it to be a number. And if I copy this down the column, we can find that there's a true. So it's saying that cell E5 is text and we do not want it to be text. We want it to be recognized as a date. So I just delete the space and we now have is text as false. An alternative reason your formula is correct but dates aren't counting properly may be because the date input falls outside your formula's date range. So for example here in cell E8, if the date is shown as 2024, it's not within our date range greater than 2025. Therefore, as much as is number and is text is correct, our calculation is wrong 
And one way to spot items like this is simply to say equals today and then take off the cell value and make sure that cell value is a number. Okay, we have now identified the cells which contained text rather than dates, but why did this arise in the first place? Well, common causes for the dates not being recognised include changing the column type after dates have already been entered. This does not convert existing text to dates. Copying and pasting dates often brings in hidden characters, such as spaces, causing Excel to treat them as text, and simple typing errors, especially in older spreadsheets. I hope this video has helped you to identify the text formatted dates in Excel, which may be causing issues with your totals. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment below and subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments what other Excel issues you would like to see covered. Thanks for watching.